Now, I'm going to unveil the secret to achieving a godlike abdomen. Discover the best way to bid farewell to that stubborn fat that hides around our organs, the so-called visceral fat. Ever wondered why, even after losing weight, that little belly insists on staying? Well, it's probably visceral fat, the villain of the story, being the hardest to eliminate. But today, I'm going to explain in detail so you know how to act and get results in a very simple way. But first, a quick question. Did you know there's a huge difference between subcutaneous fat and visceral fat? Stay with me, and I'll tell you all about it too. Now tell me, have you tried everything to get rid of belly fat, and nothing worked? Leave a comment afterward, and I'll be pleased to help each one of you with more details on how to act. And do you know why it's so important to focus on visceral fat and not just the fat we can see from the outside? I'll give you a spoiler. It has everything to do with your overall health, longevity, and well-being. So, are you curious to find out how you can make this change in your appearance to have a better life? Then stay here with me until the end of the video, as I will share incredible and simple tips to apply in your day-to-day -day life. And to top it off, I have a surprise that I will reveal towards the end of the video that will incredibly change your life. Before we proceed, I want to clarify a very important point about what it means to eliminate visceral fat. In reality, we're talking about reducing it to healthy levels and a standard considered normal. It's crucial to understand that visceral fat is necessary to a certain extent, as it plays a protective role, acting as a cushion among organs. Therefore, it's critical to recognize the importance of maintaining a minimum and healthy amount of this fat. Something fascinating that you might not know is that visceral fat is directly associated with high levels of pro-inflammatory markers in the body. These markers, in turn, are strongly linked to cardiovascular diseases and strokes. This means that the more visceral fat you have, especially in the belly area and around the organs, the higher the risk of facing serious issues like cerebrovascular accidents, heart problems, and heart attacks. This is mainly due to the inflammation that these fat deposits can cause in the cardiovascular system, so be very careful. With that said, let's dive into some practical tips on how you can reduce visceral fat to levels that are more beneficial and healthy for you. After all, the goal here is not only to improve visual aesthetics, but also to promote powerful health and lasting well-being. Ready? The first tip for reducing visceral fat is to pay attention to your carbohydrate intake. In a more classic initial approach, many people immediately think of adopting low-carbohydrate diets, such as low-carb or even ketogenic diets. And not without reason, studies have shown that these two methods are effective in blasting away visceral fat, the kind that accumulates deep in the abdominal cavity. This is super interesting because it shows that it's indeed possible to perform an internal cleanse focusing solely on your diet. Now, it's worth mentioning that for some, drastically cutting carbohydrates may seem like a big, almost radical step. If you're feeling a bit lost or want to learn more, I'll leave a video in the upper card with the best low-carb foods to burn a lot of fat. But just to give you a summary and start to understand better, the idea is basically to reduce carbohydrate intake to a minimum, maintain a higher intake of proteins, and improve the sources of healthy fats. So, if the idea of cutting carbohydrates scares you a bit, no problem. The thing is to start gradually, adjusting as you feel comfortable. Remember, the goal here is to find something that works for you in the long term, something sustainable that really helps you. It's important to remember that not all carbohydrates are equal. If cutting carbohydrates isn't good for you, or if you simply prefer to maintain some level of carbohydrates in your diet, a great strategy is to choose those with a low glycemic index. These carbohydrates are digested and absorbed more slowly, which means they release glucose into the bloodstream gradually, avoiding the dreaded insulin spikes. And why is this important? Well, insulin spikes are known to facilitate the accumulation of abdominal fat, something we're trying to combat. So, what are these aesthetics-friendly carbohydrates? They would be sweet potatoes, lentils, peas, chickpeas, and fruits with a lower glycemic index. Introducing these foods into your diet will help keep blood sugar levels more stable and prevent the accumulation of visceral fat. Moreover, I must emphasize the importance of adding more sources of soluble fiber to your diet. Moving to the second step, soluble fiber absorbs water and forms a gel that helps slow down the passage of food through your digestive system. This not only helps you feel satisfied for longer, but also has a direct impact on reducing visceral fat. Foods rich in soluble fiber include oats, beans, broccoli, pears, and all the legumes you can consume will greatly aid you. In our third step, including the right amount of protein in your diet is another key piece in the fight against visceral fat. Besides being an essential macronutrient for building and repairing tissues, protein plays a super important role in feeling satiated. 
That's right, consuming protein can help you feel satisfied for much longer, avoiding unnecessary snacks or excess in main meals. And interestingly, various studies have shown that people who include a good amount of protein in their diets tend to have a smaller and more aesthetic abdominal circumference, helping to achieve the much-desired six-pack abs. And if you want this result, there's a video where I explain exactly how to get there that will be appearing in the card. But, as with everything in life, the secret is in the balance. It's important not to overdo protein, as excess can also be harmful to your health and lead to weight gain due to excess calories. And what are the best sources of protein? Well, we have the classics and most used. Eggs, chicken, oily fish such as sardines, tuna, and salmon, which are amazing not only for their protein, but also for the omega-3 they offer. And of course, chicken meat, preferably skinless and fat-free, is also a great choice. Reducing sugar intake is essential on the journey to decrease visceral fat, which is why it's our fourth step towards achieving our goal. And when I touch on this topic, many people immediately argue, ah, uh, but I already don't use sugar in my coffee or juice. However, the real villain here is the hidden sugars and processed foods and even in options that seem harmless, like white bread. That's right, white bread can have an effect on your body similar to refined sugar, because it's quickly transformed into glucose, raising blood sugar and consequently, insulin secretion, which only hinders progress. And what about fruit juice? Even that natural one made at home can be a sugar bomb, as it concentrates the natural sugar of the fruits, especially if you strain it and remove the fibers. So, it might not be the best option if you're trying to cut sugar from your diet. If you're a fan of juices, how about trying green juices? They're made primarily from vegetables, which have virtually zero sugar content and are still rich in fibers, keeping you satiated for longer and helping to speed up your metabolism. Now, let's talk about our fifth step regarding the consumption of alcoholic beverages. It's quite clear that drinking alcohol can lead to an increase in fat accumulation in the abdominal region. Therefore, if your goal is to reduce visceral fat, it would be best to minimize or even avoid alcohol for as long as possible. I know it can be challenging, especially during fun and social interactions, but the positive impact on your health and waistline is well worth it. Another fundamental point in your mission is to keep an eye on trans fats, occupying our sixth tip. This type of fat is notoriously pro-inflammatory and can be a major villain in your diet. There was an interesting study involving two groups of monkeys. Both groups consumed the same amount of daily calories, but one of the groups had trans fats included in their diet while the other did not. The result? The group that consumed trans fats ended up with a larger waist circumference and a significant accumulation of visceral fat, even consuming the same number of calories as the group without trans fats. So, where does this trans fat hide? Mainly in processed foods such as margarines, biscuits, processed meats like sausages, and various processed and industrialized products. Paying attention to labels is an important step to protect your health and reduce visceral fat. In our seventh tip, minimizing stress and improving the quality of your sleep is crucial when it comes to fighting visceral fat. Did you know that chronic stress and sleepless nights can increase the production of cortisol in your body? This hormone, known as the stress hormone, triggers a series of reactions in the body, such as reducing muscle mass and accumulating fat in the abdominal region. It's a body defense mechanism linked to fight or flight instincts, but when constantly activated, it can bring negative consequences for your health and aesthetic appearance. So, what can you do to turn this around? Simple practices like meditation can be incredibly effective. A relaxing bath before bedtime or consuming calming teas such as chamomile or valerian can also do wonders for the quality of your sleep. Investing time to relax and ensuring a good night's sleep will not only help reduce your visceral fat, but also give you a significant improvement in health and quality of life. And remember, creating a conducive sleep environment, such as a dark, quiet room with the ideal temperature, will also help too much. So, tell me in the comments which tip you like the most, and feel free to ask any questions. I'll help you in the best way possible. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for many more valuable tips on achieving your best physical evolution and maximum performance. Thank you for watching and see you soon, my friend.